Hello, boys and girls, it's Rick with Stumped, and I'm here today playing Kerbal Space Program. When I was a boy, I always dreamed of being an astronaut, and sadly, that never came true. But these little guys, they're going to help my dream come true today, you little Kerbal bastards. We're going to get started with a campaign, guys, and I already toyed around a little bit. I'm really not that familiar with Kerbal. I picked it up last week, and I put a lot of time into it learning the ins and outs, but I want to start a career with you guys. So I'm going to start a new game called uh, Rick's Game. Eh, you know, I'm not good at names, guys. All right, I got it, Gene Kerman. I know, I know the basics of this game, and I know that we need to farm some science before we get started. So let's go ahead and take a look here. So right now, We've got the basic research. We, we own very few things at the moment, and we're going to need to get some science so that we can start building up our knowledge and getting more stuff to launch us into space to make my dream of space exploration come true. So let's go ahead and start at the basics. I'm going to go ahead and build a little ship real quick, and we're just going to do some basic exploration at the start, okay? So right now, bam, I'm going to put a, a goo container on either side here. Of course, we're gonna need a parachute because our poor little Kerbal is gonna die otherwise, and we're going to need a rocket. Now, with the basics, I mean, this is as simple as you can get, really. So we're gonna go ahead and launch this. We're gonna use Jebediah as our intrepid space explorer. Well, I say space explorer, but we're not getting into space this time. Right now, we're gonna play it uh, real cheap, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, hey, uh, view a Crew report. How you doing on the launch pad? <laughs> doing pretty good, Jeb? Jeb's doing fine. Jeb's gonna get out. He's gonna take a little EVA report, too. Yep. It's a, it's a launch pad, all right. And then we're gonna board, and we're gonna take a goo report as well. How's this mystery goo doing on the launch pad? The glue doesn't seem to be doing much right now, but we get three signs from it. Cool! So now that that's done, we're gonna launch here. Do whoops! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm gonna revert, actually. Uh, revert to launch Because you guys probably saw this and you were like wait Rick don't launch yet because you need a stage for your rocket and parachute I do that all the time too often. I do that. Okay. We're gonna do a Mystery goo we're gonna check out our mystery goo not doing much right now because we're not moving no surprises there And now uh, oh, I'm gonna make sure that I have a separate stage for my rocket I don't want them to be on the same stage. That would be very bad. And there we go. I've launched Upward. I'm gonna turn my SAS on so that I don't go all crazy. And we're gonna get as high as we can. And now that we're at a decent height, I'm gonna check the goo on this side. And it's jiggling and it's wobbling, so we get seven signs from that. I'm also gonna take a crew report. How you doing up there, buddy? The shores look inviting, and you watch the waves roll into the coast. Ah, oh, that sounds very scenic. Very enjoyable indeed. And now I'm just going to do my fall here. I'm going to deploy the chute because I can. And we're just going to peacefully drop back down to Kerbin. I'm going to speed up too because I don't want to wait all day for this to happen. Come on, buddy. Almost there. Almost there. Slow down now. Come on. There we go. Nice and slow now. Just guide it in. Just ease it in, buddy. Beautiful. Touchdown. Haha, -ha. and my rocket didn't explode too. It's always a good day when your rocket doesn't explode. And last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just take an EVA report too. 5.6 science. This is a most precarious situation, he says. I can think of more precarious situations. But there we go. We get inside. We recover the vessel now. And now we've got ourselves a nice little chunk of science to start building off of. 31 science just for doing that one little mission. Easy. And we got 16 rep too. Jeb's got one experience. Great job, Jeb. Real proud of you. But now that we've got some science, let's go spend that science, all right? So what can we do? We can buy the decoupler, and we can buy the science junior. We could also buy the hammer solid fuel. We can buy the reliant, and we can buy the fuel tank as well. But what I'm going to do first is buy this engineering 101, all right? So engineering 101, it has two things. Well, actually, all these things are valuable. The communitron is going to let me communicate, send the, the information back to uh, our, our base without having to actually land. But this Science Junior, that's going to get us tons of science. Oh, it's going to pick up so much science. And let's go ahead and build another ship now. 
now that we've got the Science Junior. So what I'm going to do is add the Science Junior Super, put that rocket back on there, and there we go. We're going to launch now. Wait, actually, no, we're going to go back. I jumped the gun. Uh, no, actually, no, this is fine. This is fine. Okay, we're, we're going to launch just like this. We've got our two stages. Everything's looking good. All right, we're, we're off. We're going to pretty much do what we did last time, but this time I'm going to do some science experiments with our Science Lab Junior. Once we get to a decent height here, here we go. Open up that material bay. There we go. 17.5 science, man. So easy to get science these days. So easy. And probably don't have anything new from the mystery gear, do I? Oh, we get 1.6 science. It's just wobbling in the craft, just like it was last time. Can I get more science from checking this goo as well? Hell yeah, I can. I should have just loaded up on goo tanks, actually. All right, we're going to pop the parachute. Speed our way down here now. Look at how happy Jeb is. Jeb, you really loving this. You are really loving this. That would be me. I would be totally loving this. Whoa, slow down. Slow down there, pilgrim. All right, there we go. Slow down just in time. Uh, all right, perfect. Now we've got more science. Fan friggin' tastic. All right, this time we're going big, guys. This time we're gonna get into space because we should have those decouplers, right? Yeah, there they are. Now decouplers, man, you gotta love the decouplers because I can just start stacking rockets, stacking rockets on rockets on rockets. This time we're getting into space, guys. We are, we're gonna see the sights. We're gonna really blow Jeb's mind. He's gonna love it. He's gonna be thrilled. Okay, so we've got three rockets. I uh, feel like maybe I should have a few more just for safe measure. I think I'm gonna do four on the bottom. Really get a good bang go in there. All right, I'm gonna move that there. So we've got six stages, all right? These five rockets will ignite. We'll separate, we'll ignite this rocket, separate, ignite th this rocket separate, and then safely parachute back into Kerbin. Fingers crossed we don't explode, because re-entry may be a little bit tricky. Okay. You buckled in, Jeb. Blast off. There we go. All right, into the stars. I'm going to try to get a little bit of a tilt going here. I want to be able to take off at an angle a little bit. So there we go. Try to get a little bit of an angle going before I ignite the next booster. There we go. Good angle. There we go. That's looking pretty solid. I want to be at about 45 degrees by the time I get to about 10,000 meters. So let's see. 8,000. 9,000. Oh, it's kind of hard. There we go. There, come on. There we go. 45. That's about right. Come on, SAS. Do it. There we go. Ignite. That should do the trick. We should be able to get into space now. Now, we're not going to be able to get into orbit, but we should be able to get this little guy into space, hopefully. Uh, we may fall a little bit short, actually. Yeah, well, actually, we're probably going to fall a little bit short. So let's fast forward and see how high I can get before I top out here. All right, we're in the upper atmosphere. We'll actually be able to get some good information, though. Come on, little Kerbal. Jeb, 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 I believe in you. All right, that's as high as we're getting. But we can do a crew report. Get some science that way. There's 4.5 science, and we can do some goo as well. How's that goo doing up here? Whoa, goo seems to be getting very cold up here. We get nine science from doing that. That's pretty solid. How about this goo over here? Yeah, another nine science from the goo. And the observation, 22.5 science. I love it. And you know, oh, I can't let Jeb out to do an EVA because I need to upgrade the uh, astronaut base there before I can do that, but that's okay. All right, we're going to be coming in hot here. So, going to want to angle us in at just the right angle here. It's going to be tough. I don't want to explode, but we are going to be coming in hot. But to be honest, I've come in hotter, so let's fast forward a little bit here. It's not that hot. Okay, there we go. We're starting to slow. I think that I think this is going to be a, a decent re-entry, actually. I think that I think Jeb's going to be fine. Here we go. We just need to make sure that we slow enough before we get too low. 
I'm not going to be able to pop that chute until I get to about 250 meters per second. So if I don't slow down before I hit the ground, then uh, little Jeb's going to get wasted. Come on, slow it down, slow it down. Oh, that ground is getting close real quick. Oh, no. Oh, no, I got a bad feeling about this, Jeb. I'm sorry! Oh, 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 Jeb, I'm sorry. It's time to stop being stingy with the science. We're gonna get basic rock tree. It's only five science. Why am I holding out on this? We need these bigger hammer solid rocket fueled uh, rockets here. So we're gonna swap out these piddly fleas with some hammers. We are going to drop the hammer, so to speak, and get some decouplers. There we go. We, sh we should be able to get a lot higher now. All right. I think three rockets should do the trick. Okay, that last time, we almost made it into space. We fell just a little bit short, which was very disappointing for Jeb. His poor little Kerbal Heart was broken, but we're not going to disappoint him this time. We are going to get into space, damn it. And here's what I'm going to do. I'm pulling out the big guns, all right? Pulling out the big guns. Okay, this design, though wobbly, I have faith in it. I have faith in you. Go. There we go. Starting off at a slight angle, and that's fine. I actually like starting at a slight angle. And it actually looks like it's kind of correcting itself, so that's all right. So we're just going to go straight up. We're going to try to get all the speed that we can. Jeb, he's having a blast. Look at him go. His mouth agape. His eyes a-bugging. He's adorable. My favorite... Astronaut by far. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you spinning already? With the spins. Gain control of yourself, man. There we go, there we go, there we go. Correcting yourself, correcting yourself. There it is. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't swing back the other way now. Come on. There you go. Just keep going up, okay? Up, up, up. Stop spinning, man! Oh, so annoying. So annoying. Okay, no spinning this time, okay? No spin zone, Jeb. All right? I see you smiling in there. You think this is a game? Your life depends on this. Pay attention. So far, so good, okay? You're slightly off center, but whatever, all right? I'm not gonna touch a thing. I'm just gonna let this thing fly on its own accord feel like the separation is when it was starting to really flip. So as long as we take the separation nice and slow. There we go. You're straight. You ain't wobbling. Okay. There's a slight curve going. But nothing to worry about yet. Okay. It's starting to swing back the other way. Okay. It's okay, though. It's fine. Don't panic. Because when you panic, mistakes are made. All right. Look at him, his head's sort of tilted now. He kind of looks bored, doesn't he? Looking a little bit bored, buddy. I'm sorry that uh, space exploration's becoming boring for you. Okay, I'm gonna start trying to give it a little bit of a tilt now, okay? Because we need to start going at an angle. We need to start thinking about going at an angle. But we're getting into space this time. I have a damn good feeling about this. Oh yeah, there's no question about it. We're making it into space this time. There we go, SAS, there we go. We're going at a pretty steady 45 degree angle now. And just fast forward until we get into space because we're gonna make it this time. Yeah, buddy. This is it, bud. This is what space looks like. It's so pretty. Let's take our crew report. Five signs there. Let's take our mystery goo report. How's that goo doing? The goo seems to have clumped into a sphere. It also appears to have become brittle. Oh, that's cool. 10 signs from that. Let's get 10 signs from this mystery goo too. Yeah, it has done the same. And lastly, our Observe Materials Bay. How's that Science Junior doing? 25 science. That's just great. Oh, and we still have one more rocket, too. So here's what I'm going to do. Once we get to the near the Apoapsis, I'm going to go ahead and launch this last rocket. Send us just really going far here. How's that Apoapsis doing? How close are we coming? Oh, we're almost there. You see this extreme orbit that we're doing? That means that we're going to plummet down really fast, which is going to be bad news for our little Kerbin because 
the more extreme angle of re-entry, the quicker we're going to come in, uh, the greater the chances we're either going to explode or we're just going to crash into the surface and either of those outcomes are not desirable. So I'm going to just go forward a little bit faster until we reach that apoapsis. Here we go. Slow it down a little bit here. We're almost there. Okay, now I'm going to hit that last stage, all right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to hit the last stage and hopefully stretch out this orbit. There we go. So now that we've got that going, we can see, look at that. Look at that orbit stretching. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a much better angle of re-entry and just increase our chances of survival. Oh, are we going to make it to the desert? Make it past the desert. Whoa! Almost in orbit. Not quite, though. That's a that's a decent angle of re-entry. I, I think that we stand a pretty good chance of surviving this, all right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and separate because I don't need that rocket anymore. And now we're just going to fast forward a little bit until we get closer to re-entry. There we go. That's good. We're going to slow it down now. Now we got to get serious. Now it's time to put our game face on because we're going to be going very fast. And there's actually a pretty good chance that we may lose uh, this science bay. And now I'm sort of regretting not putting a uh, heat shield on it. But let's see how we do. Okay, we're coming in fast. Oh, yeah, see that? You can see that heat bar starting to get nice and hot. It may explode. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Keep. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Okay, there we go. Nice, nice angle there. Come on. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Our capsule is going to survive, though. Bad news is that we lost the goo and we lost the uh, the science lab there. And, oh, God. Slow down. Okay, we're slowing down. We came very close, dangerously close to exploding there. But it looks like we're going to pull through. Now, if we can just slow down enough to not explode on contact... I'm just going to speed up here. All right, we're actually slowing down pretty good here. Yeah, we're going to survive this, no problem. Nice. Okay, well, it wasn't perfect, but we made it back down to Kerbin in one piece. So now I'm just going to speed up here, get the boring part over with. We're going to safely touch down, and we're in the desert, actually. So there is actually a little bit more science that I can get from this. Once we get to the ground... We'll pop uh, old Jeb out. We'll do an EVA, and we'll get some more science from that. Unfortunately, the only science I'm going to be able to collect from this is the science from my crew report and the EVA. But, oh, God, I didn't do the EVA. Or whatever, whatever, okay, whatever. We got very little science from that one, okay? We got, but we're at 63 science and 33 reputation, so uh, not the worst thing in the world. But I think that's where we're going to call an end to this episode, the first episode of our new Kerbal Space Cro Program. <laughs> that, that's, that's Kerbal for program. It's a program. Uh, uh, our first career of Kerbal Space Program. Uh, we are going to have the next episode on Wednesday. And I'm curious to hear what you guys want to see. Uh, as you can see, we've got the basic rocketry. We've got Engineering 101. What do you guys want to see me level up next? All right, I've got 63.4 science to spend. And I mean, I could buy all of these three, or I can start trying to specialize in one branch or the other, okay? So, I mean, this is your guys' series as much as this is mine, so I want to hear your guys' feedback. I want to know what you guys want to see from this career, all right? And in the meantime, if you enjoyed this, be sure to give it a like, favorite, and subscribe, guys, if you haven't yet, and I'll see you next time.